What's up everyone? Today I am doing this thingy again where I play solo matchmaking and try to get 1800 MR. So we're starting at 1765 and game number one, pink casks for Ra. And logically I think, well, if he's asking for the hero, he must be pretty good at him. And he's pink, he's the highest MMR, he's supposed to be the best player. So I say, give him Master of Arms or a curse, I'll support. So he gives me Master of Arms, I'll be supporting this game. And he's playing Ra, hopefully good. So we go into the laning phase and we're doing kind of fine. Ra is kind of last hitting, harassing, even helping me. We almost even get a kill. And then something happens. He just pulls back and he just doesn't heal or anything. He just stops coming close altogether and doesn't really get in region or anything. He just keeps staying back and kind of shows his true colors of not being that great of a player. The next clip, I, I'm, I prepare you, it's going to be slow motion. So why is it slow motion? You'll see at the end. So guys, here I engage on Geomancer. Obviously, he will try and use his Q as soon as he's unstunned, and he does. He dodges my second skill and Ra's stun, so that's kind of an unfortunate mistake but boys, for those, but... See how I'm attacking. I'm still attacking, I'm still attacking, attacking Geomancer, still attacking, attacking as fast as I can. Attacking, I got the kill. So, yeah, kind of weird mistake, but I was attacking there. Why did I put so much emphasis on just attacking? Why did I slow this down to, to show you that I was indeed attacking every attack when I could? Well, that's because Ra is bad and told me why you stop attacking. Obviously, he's mad, and yeah, that, this is pretty much done. So, I gank mid, and just to show that I was kind of really nervous here, and I'm not sure what to do about it. I used my stun on a really low HP monkey, because when I see monkey, I always think, man, he can do, like, anything. He can, like, get off the screen in one second. So I was really scared. I, I don't really have any tips against this, so I'm not sure how to deal with this. I was just scared and nervous, and I kind of wasted. Maybe could have killed more. In this clip, Rock gets haste, and I warn him. I tell him that Monkey King is coming from mid, and for some reason, he just goes that way. So that's Ra, yeah. That's pretty much done. This here, I just wanted to show that I was really kind of didn't want to kill steal. I could have used my skills, but I really just didn't even attack once because I was afraid of stealing it. So just, just being a good guy while Ra is um, doing his thing. I used my ultimate on him to try save him, but he's like amongst several people. Our supports are coming close, and we can't do anything. All is lost, and really, that's it. Yeah, I lost. Game lost. Scout did okay in the bottom lane, you got 300 GPM, but compared to Predators, which was in the same lane as him, it's not very good. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. Game number two. This time I got on a team of Swedish guys. I'm not sure if Pink was, but three of them at least were for sure. As you can see by the picks, I'm asking them if they're trolling and they're serious, and yeah, they were serious. Those were their picks. Like, Prisoner... Geomancer and the Legionnaire, like, I thought, well, let's see, my second favorite hero, Corrupt Disciple, he received a buff recently, his starting damage increased, his second skill improved, so I thought, well, since we don't really have a set carry right now, I'll just pick Corrupt Disciple, so that's what I did, I'm going the top lane, they're talking in their language, so I'm already getting a little bit upset, I would say, but what can I do? They're um, arguing about who's going bottom, thinking Hag is gonna suicide, but end up going bottom prisoner Geomancer. So, yeah, their picks were bad, what did they expect? So, 1700 plus game starts off like that, team not even communicating. I went for my third skill here, which is very important to note because it gives movement speed. I was so scared, look at this lane, look at it, Magmus Forsaken Archer. I was so scared to die, and because I played so carefully and got my third skill, I managed not to die once to them. I got my second skill thinking that, well, if they tower dive, at least I might as well sap their damage and try save myself that way, because my Q sure as hell is not going to help me. And it worked. It worked. So, this moment here is where it started going bad. So, I call a miss, because they're obviously going for, well, Legion there, it looks like. So, I call miss, not just in the ping, but also in voice. I'm telling them right now, you can't hear it, but I I'm telling them like, hey, he's missing, they're going for you, it's obvious. I also ping him here at the same time because I thought he's not going back yet. So he did go back and kind of seemed fine at first. I mean, like he's back, I'm just getting some farm even though I'm sucking. But the starting extra damage does really kind of help crop the disciple. It's just three damage, but 
but it doesn't help. So there, I noticed on the minimap that they were there, and we all tell Hag. First of all, there there were tons of misses and pings, and we, like more than one person, tell him in the microphone, "Hey, dude, they're coming for you mid." Hag is an 1800 player. 1800. And he gives first blood. 1800. So it turned out Hag was not very good. The game goes on, Geomancer ganks by missing his stun, goes in and just pretty much starts dying. I use my skills and try to do everything I can, I was kind of maxing my Q or at least leveling it good so that I could get damage, but turns out it's hard to play two against one. Who the thought, right guys? So I try and do everything I can, but I'm already saying in the microphone that I can't 1v2 this is bad, Geomancer said something about not going with me, but it's okay! Hag got us covered, man! She's gonna clean up! Yeah. 1800. 1800. So here Hag is gonna die again. And I decide to go back in because I don't leave teammates to die when I can. I go as, as far as I could, but I'm already getting stunned and low on health. Thank God Prisoner is actually here and doing something. So that turned out into a good fight in the end. This here, this play, look, look. Bagmas getting invisibility, right? Like a good player. I got words of Flurry. Get words of Flurry revelation, guys. Please, it's... There's no excuse not to. So I'm waiting for Magmus. We got some kill in the meantime. But I see Magmus and I start telling my team, Magmus, 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 Magmus. So he's copying me. He, you can probably hear. Place another word of revelation because I had another one. I have a third one just in case and we destroyed. That was so good. Get words of revelation, please. So now we'll talk about the buff to the second skill. The only way to cancel it now is to run out of range. In other words, immunity or like Silhouette's ultimate, which dispels debuffs, does not cancel it anymore. That is huge! That is huge! I can see which Silhouette is the real one and still save damage. Here I, I tried to save him. And, and I just hate it when I'm trying to help teammates and like, unlike other people often, I actually do everything I can. I try and help my team. I go back, I die for them if I have to, even if it's useless. So in this situation, I try and give them my Energizer buff, but like, it's so sad. I feel so bad when I can't help my team. And I use all my skills to do everything, but it doesn't work. So yeah, just saying. In this clip, I'm intentionally giving Geomancer the farm because I'm trying to be a nice person. Geomancer, on the other hand, later in the game flames me because I wasn't letting him kill Asians when I was there at the same time. So this clip here is an example of what not to do as a teammate. Notice how Prisoner is teleporting away and I'm one against three. I came here to save him. He managed to teleport away because I saved him. Right now his Q is available. He's back in base and it's so annoying when people do this. Why do people do this? It's so bad. It's such a pathetic thing to do. Just help your teammates. Jesus. God, it pisses me off to no end. So I'm gonna talk about my build now. I went for Dawnbringer because you need to stay close as Corrupt Disciple to your enemies to sap their damage. Same reason for Energizer and Tabular of Command. Also kind of same reason, but also because Silhouette had a Null Stone, so I wanted to cancel that and still use my second skill. So here a team fight is coming up. I'm gonna kind of tell you what I did, but just watch Geomancer instead. He missed his stun and then he's going away. He used none of his skills, he, he just went away. And now he's kind of trying to come back. I used my Energizer to try help him, but Geomancer, man. Then he uses his stun to try escape or something, goes back in, fails. Then one of the best Geomancer ultimates ever. He completely misses it. I try to go back in like a good teammate and Tablet is actually a really good item because it saved me so many times this game. That little push combined with the extra movement speed you get from your passive and the Dawnbringer just saved me so many times. Also I went top because if I went back to base straight they would teleport and kill me. So I predicted it there. And then I flamed Geomancer and he flamed me and we lost Rex and it was horrible, but yeah, basically he was talking trash and uh, he's already muted as you can see because he's spamming in Swedish, whatever, I don't I don't understand, so, so don't use Swedish to me, please. I kind of go back in, but it doesn't matter, we lost Rex, this is bad, this is not going good. The next team fight breaks out, and I'm just gonna tell you my thoughts. I use my shrunken head and start sapping damage with my second skill. Try to do everything I can, and it's just so annoying that I am the only person that ever gets a revelation. So Magmus ends up surviving and ends up stunning me because he survived. So I try to go back on Magmus again. And guess what happens? He goes on Viz again and survives again. 
We kill Parasite, but Magnus manages another stun. That's two stuns, because everyone is too lazy to get Revelation. And I had a full inventory, but hell, screw it. Since everyone is so bad, I should have just sold my bottle and got Revelation myself. So, take control of the game into your own hands, guys, when everyone else is just too bad. I bought back because I saw Silhouette is tower diving, and I used everything. Cancelled the Null Stone with my tablet, used my second skill to sap damage, used my Energizer to stay close to her, and really, that's it just used everything and took her down really without any chance so just kind of good mechanics there which is really rare for me next fight i used my trunk head because i saw the portal key which was from my own teammate so that was kind of bad here i used my second skill to sap damage and i just stayed close to him but didn't attack him because he had the barbed armor which is very important i was just there to sap damage also got invisibility because it's kind of a good item on corrupted disciple i think it just allows you to stay close and still sap that damage without really being visible. That still works, so that's a good thing, I think. And really, we just kind of overpowered them. Eventually, I managed to outcarry. Corrupted Disciple with debuffs is a really, really good hero now. So, he could get to be my second favorite again, or at least I will start playing him more often, because I, I really did enjoy this, and he's a really good contra silhouette, because her ultimate doesn't dispel it anymore. And I'm back where I started. And that means we're going to game number three. And in game number three, Blue asked, Hey guys, can someone babysit me? And I was like, yeah, sure, I can. Because my main problem when games start is that people don't know what to pick. And I have this problem kind of as well. But when someone actually picks and he just starts deciding stuff, I like that because I can pick around it. And I can really play anything. So I get Martyr because he got a buff recently. I want to see how he works. I really like the Black Legion avatar, so I bought him with silver coins, so that is in fact possible, getting 3,000 silver and buying avatars, and yes, I can run out of gold, believe it or not. So I got March and I'll be babysitting this guy, bought two wards at the start, gave them to Magmas, just like a good support, and Blue turns out she knows me, and guys, when I see this, this is a huge moral boost to me, like a huge one, I'm like, oh man, someone knows me, this is so great, so in the lane I did my usual thing of annoying the enemy hero, so I just kept being annoying as much as I could, Martyr is such a hero that the lower he's on health, the more damage he deals, I waited for the first skill of Sandrift to kind of wear off before using my skill, because it slows, and we managed to get a really nice kill at the start, and kind of pretty much win the lane at this point, point. and in this situation we kind of over tower dived is that a term i just wanted to explain my build a little bit i went for my third skill because it passively gives movement and attack speed to your allies when you're low so i even used it to heal here so i'm not sure if my second skill would have been better but just explaining my skill build we did kill him and sangria did survive so that's good but just saying my skill build from archer i went for my third skill first and i think it's a really good idea for the speed to your ally so then eventually this happens where Electrician mans up on me, and I really didn't understand it, because when someone mans up on you, you man back up as a marcher, because the lower you are, the better it is, but it turns out he's ganking me with Parasite, and I think a lot of good players will tell you this, when you're getting ganked, find a tree, find trees, try juke, so I try do just that, and quite successfully, because I buy enough time to use my first skill again. And that ends up giving us a kill in return, so the situation turns from being absolutely horrible, me being ganked like a noob, into, oh, well, that's not too bad, we got a kill in return and I'm just a support, so who cares. So, this clip, I just want to show the good player that is Rally. Instead of just thinking about how can we stun best, he just always saves me. He did this several times and he just doesn't think, like, how can we stun them and, like, get a good return kill for your health. He just saves me. He just saves me. And I'm really, really grateful for that. That was just really, really nice of him. And even if it's not the best thing to do for to win the game, it's, it still feels really good. So, really, really nice Rally player. Also, counter-warding, of course. That's self-explanatory. Seeing Parasite, as you might notice, I have no boots at this point in the game. It was so difficult to play without boots. I had really good teammates that helped me constantly, used my skills on them to try and save them, but that didn't work because they're all here for some reason. But without boots, it's so difficult. Finally got my boots at 17 minutes. Is that a new record? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I, we weren't really losing or anything. We were doing quite good. So here a team fight breaks out. I use my second skill on Rally to try and save him. And I might have used my ultimate to save him here, but I really wanted to kill Gunblade because even though I just got my boots, he already had an Assassin Shroud. So barely survived with my ultimate. The ultimate on Martyr still has 
astonishingly long cooldowns on early levels, so you really can't waste it. You have to save it for a good situation. So, bottom lane got destroyed uh, either way. Sandra has got his farm. We are winning the game. And this clip here is going to be an amazing play I did. I placed a word of relation to try and bait Gunblade because he had his assassin shroud and I was waiting for him. We kind of managed to pick off Electrician because he was out of position. But that's not really what the play was about. I'll just say keep an eye on my health and my power supply. I am exactly 1770 plus by 0 0.1. Oh my god, that play, holy mock. That was good. So I end up 5 and more higher again. And I'm 1770 plus thanks to 0 0.1. And this was good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a long one. But getting closer, only you a bit left till I get to that 1800 MMR. We'll see what comes after that, but for now, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you next time. In this clip, Ra... <clears throat> In this clip, Ra gets haste because I'm trying to be nice, and he kind of was kind of... For... In this clip, I'm giving Geomancer my farm... Fuck. And I want to just, like point out my main problem my main problem in games is that my main problem when games start is be now it's laggy I have to stop it in this situation just like e shunk in this clip here the artillery it's not